Yo guys, yes, you can play Portal on your Android device. So how is this possible? Well, a little while back, a few games were released as exclusive to Nvidia's Tegra 4 Shield device. Of course, they only worked for the Shield. However, thanks to an app called GL Tools, you can emulate the Tegra graphics drivers. While performance is not as bad as what you might think, it still doesn't come close to what you actually get on a Shield. So buy a Shield if you are truly interested. In any case, it's very easy to play Portal on your Android device. Now first, you will need to have a rooted Android device, and second, you will need to have a Portal game. Now since Portal only works on Tegra 4 devices, there's no way to directly buy it from the Play Store. However, there's still a way to obtain it. So for instructions on how to get the Portal game, open up a new tab and head over to my website. So with that, let's get to it. Okay. After you have downloaded the Portal game along with the downloaded content, what you'll need to do is move the downloaded content to the Android OBB folder. Using your favorite file browser, copy and paste the folder to Android forward slash OBB in your SD card directory. Then go back and install the Portal APK, but do not open it yet. Next, download GL Tools from the Play Store. Remember, you will need root in order to use this. Upon installation, make sure to select the second option to install the texture decoders. Then hit install and your device will reboot. Now open up GL Tools again and navigate to Portal. Select the option to enable custom settings for this app. Also select optimize shaders. Towards the bottom, select the option to use the fake GPU slash CPU info, and choose Tegra 4 as a template. Finally, select all the emulation options. This final step could be skipped if you already have a Bluetooth controller. Porto requires a controller and will not work by touchscreen. Since I do not have a Bluetooth or USB controller, I'm going to use the app Game Keyboard Plus. Inside the settings, choose Quick Setup and change it to Touchscreen slash Joystick. Then make sure you set the button size to the minimum value. Finally, make sure Hotkey is checked and set up a custom hotkey. I'm going to use the Volume Up button. Then go back and start to service. Now it's time to launch Portal. If all goes well, Portal should boot. For the most part, considering that it wasn't made to run on a non tegra device, the performance is decent. I will admit, using a game keyboard is very frustrating. I would rather use an actual controller instead. Keep in mind, this will not work on all devices. Strangely, when my OnePlus One was running Android Lollipop 5.02, it did not work, but it worked when I went to KitKat 4.4.4. So, like I said before, if you truly want a good gaming experience, get an NVIDIA Shield. But it won't hurt to give this a try. So guys, if you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.